Hello and welcome to the Bounce Off template. In this template, I'm going to show you how to modify and customize the Bounce Off template. To start, we're going to talk about like what is a Bounce Off template. So if I restart this uh, effect, you can see like we're now controlling the alpaca's head with uh, with our face and there is a ball that when it gets hit it gets bounced and then you hit it and you have to keep hitting the ball until you get the highest score so let's see how we can customize this template this template as you can see uses lots of physics joints in here that you can see and we're going to talk about that later but let's focus on how to customize this template so if you didn't know, like most of this template comes with uh, a visual scripting that allow, allows us to define some logic for our effect. So to see the visual scripting panel on the top left corner of the effect house, you can see there is a visual scripting button. If you click, you will see some uh, parameters that you can customize. So let's first look at the first one. So the first one is allows you control the uh, how you want to move the head. So for now, it uses your head position for moving uh, the alpaca set. But you can just click on this check mark, and now I can use my touch to move the head. You can see you have you can have lots of customization in here. So. As you can see, now there is an offset between my mouse cursor and the alpaca's head. So if you want to remove that, you can make the offset to zero. And now I'm going to exactly use this uh, like center of his head to uh, move it around the screen. And I'm going to try to get the highest score at the same time. It's very fun to play. Cool. Yeah, now that we look at the player follow control, yeah, feel free to uh, play around with this and see which one you like. And if you want this to keep following the head, uncheck this. As simple as that. Cool. I'm going to go look at the second one. So the second one is give you some options for the gameplay. The first one is like auto start. Like you can uncheck it and the game won't start until you touch the screen so it gives you an option if you want to customize that and then we have a delay so we're, there is a delay for this to start you can just like make it zero it start as soon as possible or you can make it what wait five seconds and we're gonna wait five seconds for the ball to drop yay i'm gonna put it back on one and we have another uh, capability in this template that every time you spawn, the ball will spawn in different position. But if you don't like it, you can uncheck it. And every time it start from center, or you can just like move the ball position to just like say, where does it have to start? But I think random ball position give it uh, much more challenge to play this. Cool. And there's another one, the ball gravity. Now you can see we have kind of like some sort of beach ball in here. But if you want to have another ball, you can change the gravity, for example, to A to mimic much heavier ball. And it's going to get much challenging at the same time. I cannot even keep that <laughs> for more than two. Let's try to see if I can keep it for more than two. Yay, I did it. But yeah, definitely this is much more challenging so uh play around with this value and see which one you like and there's the last one is a score counter so right now every time it bounced off uh, you get one score but if i want to be generous i want to give you 10 score for each of the bounce wow this is <laughs> This is fun. I don't know, like we pr uh, provide this material so you can customize this template to whatever you think would work for your project. Cool, I'm gonna put it back to one. So now we learn how to customize the functionality of the template. So what about the visual? So yeah, let's look at the visual. So in the hierarchy panel, if you take a look, we have the head idle head it and also 
the ball and we provide different balls as well so you can try the football ball isn't that cool like that is so easy to change so if you want to have like another type of ball in here just drag and drop the ball in here and just let it work so even if you you can even have a, like i don't know uh like a sphere like i can go here and add this sphere and let me drop it here and make sure the transform is set at zero so you need to make sure we center the ball and also you need to make sure the size of the uh Collider is the same as the uh, as the size of the ball that you have. For example, I can just like turn it off, and in here I can change the radius of the size of the ball. So you can put it on three. Yeah, you can have any kind of different ball that you want in here uh to play around with it so for example i'm gonna keep it to the beach ball that we had here and it is pretty fun right cool another option that you can have is change the physics matter in the on the ball so as you can see right now we're using the beach ball physics matter so this ball has zero dy dynamic friction zero uh static friction and one bounciness but you can just like customize this or use other uh physics matter so if i turn down the bounciness you can see it's not gonna bounce anymore and yeah it's just like two bounce and it's gone or you can just play around with this value and see which one works for your project better and use that for your project cool now that, that we talk about the uh, ball, let's talk about like how to change the design. So yeah, we have this character in here, but if you take a look, uh, we provide more animals in here. So for example, I'm going to change this head idle. So I'm going to select the head idle replace and click on the texture and then I'm gonna choose the dog head idle but even it's gonna bounce it's gonna switch to that previous character so we need to uh, change the heat texture as well and now we're gonna have a doggy that bouncing the head and the body, I feel like the body should uh, be the same color as uh, the head. So let's go and change that. Let's go find it in the in here. So you can see we have all these next joints. I'm going to select them all and choose a color that kind of like matches the doggy that we have in here. Cool. That is or I can just like go for artistic and maybe look like this. That's fun, right? And the body, like I forgot to change the body. So select the body and now I'm going to change it to doggy bodies. Wow, this is super fun, right? Or I'm going to change the ball too. So, uh, the doggy maybe wants to play tennis. But it's super fun, right? Cool. And also, so let's talk about what else we can do. The daughter stuff is if you didn't like any asset that we provided, actually we provided the chicken as well. So. Just wanted to make sure that you try that one as well but if you didn't like any of these feel free to search the asset uh, studio so for example we can search for cat head and uh, let's look uh, for this one like for example I'm gonna import this cat head and 
Now that I have it, I can just use this cat head uh, for my head idol and have this cat. And then you need to work on the heat version of the cat head or if you don't want to have that, just like have it all both at the same thing. So now I have my cat in here that it's playing this. Also, the last thing that I want to say is if you want to change the design of the wall, you can find the left wall, right wall, top wall, and change the design of it. Like, for example, I can just like make it black. And yeah, that's it. I uh, hope you like this template and I uh, cannot wait to see what you're coming up with. Uh, thank you so much for watching and see you all in other videos. Thank you.